Mujeres. I work with the Llano Grande Center. I grew up in Monte Alto, graduated from Red Chasa High School, and uh, I went away to college and came back home to teach here at the high school, and I've been working um, with Llano Grande and Red Chasa since 97 when I graduated from college. ...to complete something that would be an impact in filling these out and, you know, in, in moving ahead, but you think it's dorky. <laughs> Said, nah, I don't want to do that, I don't want to do that. How do you motivate that child to say, hey, this is going to help you? For uh, taking developmental leadership, um, you just, just be very, be into that. Be into leadership, be into researching college still, be into you know, community services. Uh, my first child, it was really, really hard because he started looking for stuff during um, uh, his senior year. Okay. And, you know, now that my son's a junior, it's not very good on the ball. Letters, and if they don't know anything about your students, they're not going to be able to write anything about them. So if you want them to write something good, they should really get to know them. And if you yourself can go and talk with them. Recommendation letters, that's something you should start doing like about your junior year because it's true. It's Everything starts going fast your senior year. Like everything's a rush, and you just feel like, oh, I gotta do this, and I gotta do this. And it's just a rush. It's better to do something ahead of time than like last minute. At both offices, we have computer labs with internet access, and um, a lot of what we do is advise parents and students about what are the legitimate websites to go to to apply for, to look for scholarships, to apply for scholarships, to complete your FAFSA application, um, you know, to, to do the applications for colleges as well. Uh, we do this every year 